What's a plantar wart? Okay, well, plantar warts and corns or calluses, they look very similar. Uh, the difference is a wart is caused by a virus. And so this is a virus you can pick up anywhere where you might be barefooted or sandal-footed where someone has left you a little present. <laughs> and, and you step on the virus, it sticks to your skin, and it is uh, it's able to penetrate into the skin by microscopic cuts that yeah. you don't even know you have. And so they start to live in the epidermis, which is the dead layer of skin. They don't live down in the live layer. Uh, and they, they look very similar to a corn or a callus. You can tell the difference, though, most of the time visually, because the skin lines, if you look at your skin lines, uh, they'll come up to the wart and they'll bypass it around, whereas on a corn or a callus, that skin line will go right across the top of the lesion. Either of them more dangerous or hurt more than the other or harder to get rid of? Uh, it's been my experience that warts hurt a lot more than a corn or a callus. They develop their own nervous center and their own blood supply, and that's those little tiny red or dark dots you see. They're not seeds, they're, they're thrombosed blood vessels in there. But when you step on a nerve ending, it's more painful. When you go to the pharmacist at the drugstore and say, I got some warts on the bottom of my foot that hurt, uh, are those remedies good enough or do you need to see a podiatrist or it just depends? Yeah. Well, there's a reason that a plantar wart has a distinction over any other wart, and that's because they're much more stubborn. Yeah, so it's not to say that you can't use an over-the-counter uh, medication to get rid of a wart, but the majority of the time, I said that the wart lives in the dead layer. It's much thicker on the bottom of the foot, so it's hard to get that medicine to penetrate deep enough to actually kill the virus.